Hey guys, welcome to another day in leading into my 100th comic book review episode weekend. And in this video, this video actually was inspired by one of my friends, Tox, also known as Toxity. Check him out. He's on my uh, top reviewers slash friends on my channel. Uh, he actually, we were talking on Skype and he brought this idea up. Well, he brought up a version of this idea and then I said, what if I did this? And he thought it was a good idea. By now, his is up. I told him I wouldn't upload this video until his was up. Uh, so approximately this is the middle of the week. Happy middle of the week day, by the way. Unless it's the day after the middle of the week, then kind of, never mind. But anyway, this video, as you can see by the title, is called My Top 5 Superheroes and Top 5 Supervillains, all together bringing the round total to 10. I'm going to start off with my top 5 supervillains. First off, they are not in any specific order. They really aren't because... Uh... Yeah, they're just not in any specific... Like, the, the last, the number one is in its order. The others just fall in after it. They fall in somewhere between one and five. Uh, two and five. First off is the Joker. The arch nemesis of Batman. He was... Since growing up, I've known the Joker through the Batman series with Adam West. I've known him through the first Batman movie that was... Um, in 1992, I believe, with Michael Keaton, where he was played by Jack Nicholson. It was pretty sweet. Uh, he's just, he's psychopathic, and he's crazy, and he's like one of the villains that, he's like everything a supervillain should be. He's crazy, and he's homicidal, he's suicidal, and uh, he'll do it with a smile. After Joker, I would say Doomsday, the monster that can kill a Superman. He is a mindless beast. And he will annihilate and rip through anything that gets in his path. He's killed... His kill count is beyond any supervillain's kill count. He will kill supervillains. He doesn't care who you are. If you're breathing, he will stop you from breathing. An unending killing machine that only Superman could take out. And ultimately, in the end, that's who did stop. Well, actually, Im Imperex actually destroyed Doomsday, but then there were clones which Superman took out. So... Okay, that's two. Uh, Norman Osborn, psychopathic, crazy, all because of the serum that caused him to become the um, Green Goblin. Um, he actually, the whole storyline between him and Spider-Man with Gwen Stacy, where he killed Gwen Stacy, was wow. To this day, I'm still trying to find that Spider-Man comic. That was an epic moment of arch nemesis, uh, evil, sick, twisted villainry in comic book history, at least in Marvel's history, to see a supervillain actually kill a superhero's girlfriend. That was crazy. Also a Spider-Man villain, number four, is Carnage. Completely nuts. Gone cuckoo, one flew over the cuckoo's nest, meets Venom symbiote, now turned into its own symbiote known as Carnage. Maximum Carnage was one of the most well-known series in the Spider-Man history. There is a Super Nintendo game based off of Maximum Carnage. Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis picked up the Maximum Carnage series and both games uh, for both systems. The game was awesome in general. The game was awesome. The series was awesome. And Carnage is still around to this day. So is Norman Osborn, but he's jumping in from sane to insane. But Carnage to this day, there's actually a series coming out very soon called Carnage USA. And damn right, I'm going to be getting that looks really good. So, and of course, my number one supervillain is Lex Luthor. He is the dirtiest, rottenest, sickest SOB out of every single supervillain I've ever met. Especially when he became, in 1986, the corrupt businessman. He could do things, and he could uh, use his power to do things, and never get in trouble for it. And Superman hated him for it, and as I was reading Superman from 1986 to before they did the relaunch, I hated him as well. He's just that supervillain that you can't help hating, even if he does the right thing, you're like, you know what? Good for Lex, he finally did something good, but he's still a freaking son of a bitch. And you hate him for it. And that is why he is my number one hated. I love to hate him. What? I love the way you said freaking, but instead of saying that so weird, you actually said what Son of a bitch. I I love to hate Lex Luthor. He is my he is the only supervillain I love to hate. That tells you something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love to hate someone. Now my top five superheroes. 
starting off with Green Lantern. I've been really enjoying Now, when I say Green Lantern, I don't mean just Hal Jordan. I also mean Kyle Rayner. I also mean Guy Gardner. And in specific order, my favorite Lanterns are Kyle Rayner, Hal Jordan, Guy Gardner, and then Jon Stewart. Uh, really, it's between Kyle Rayner and Hal Jordan for my number one spot. Sometimes Hal Jordan's cool, but then sometimes he has a, a stick shoved up his ass, and Kyle Rayner just, he's pure awesome. I've always liked Kyle Rayner since the 90s. Uh, Green Lantern just has amazing stories, amazing series, and he's somebody that, I don't know, I, I never liked him in like uh, the earlier years, but uh, over the past, since Rebirth, he's been awesome. I I've enjoyed every single story that was released, even though I've gotten most of it in trade paperback form from issue one through about Agent Orange, which I I've actually started collecting in Blackest Night. <laughs> okay, Nightwing is another one of my top superheroes. I've loved Dick Grayson as Nightwing. Dick Grayson was Nightwing before I was even born. So I never had the chance to see him as Robin. But Dick Grayson can hold his own. He, until Tim Drake came along, was the only successor to Batman if anything should happen to Batman. Point blank, you, he could, if, ba any, if Batman died, you knew Dick Grayson would be able to take over the mantle. But as his own superhero, as Nightwing, he's amazing. He's got acrobatic talents that only a Robin, and he, he's the best Robin out of all of them, to be honest, because he has the extra limberness to him, and he had, he just, the chemistry between him, between him and Bruce, no Robin has ever come, well, certain Robins have come close, but none have matched up. Dick Grayson will always be number one Robin, but as Nightwing is awesome. Next is Batman himself. Love Batman. He is somebody that could solve anything. He can see things that even people with x-ray vision can't see. He's just that intelligent. He has zero superpowers. All he has is his utility belt, belt and his mind. And he could take out any superhero you throw in front of him. From Marvel, DC, IDW, anywhere. He can stop them. If Superman was killed by Doomsday and Doomsday was still alive, you, you know Batman would have been the one to take down Doomsday. He's just that smart. And he has an awesome back cave. Which can only which is only topped by Superman's Fortress of Solitude. That is the only thing that could top Super, uh, Batman's Bat Cave. Number four is Spider-Man. I've read Spider-Man from day one. It was the very first comic I ever bought. Spider-Man's gone through hell and back. He's gone through clones, Carnage, Norman Osborn. He's gone through being killed himself. Well, sort of killed in a small story arc. Having his marriage erased. Having the entire world hate him, then love him, then hate him again. He's had so many costume changes, it's not even funny. He was mistaken for a clone after the Clone Saga for a while and then found out he was the real one and his clone died. He lo he's gone through hardship. He's been through everything. He is the classic. If, if comic books were ever to become real, he is the realest of all superheroes in my opinion because they keep his life real. Nobody, not everyone in the world loves him, and not everyone in the world hates him, and he goes through the same hard times as any other person in his, re, in his uh, normal life. He's had a shitload of girlfriends. Black Cat and him have the same kind of romance thing going on, uh, like Batman and Catwoman have going on. This is with and without Mary Jane. And finally, my number one superhero. Come on, guys, if you didn't see this coming, where have you been the past... 400 videos, Superman. Superman's been killed. He's gone through almost every single thing you can imagine. He's beat out death. He's gone through only three costume changes. He's gone through the electric costume. He had the black S for a while. And then he also had the Kryptonian suit, which I thought was really cool. And now the current, he actually went through four, his newest costume now. And that's just because of a lawsuit. And I don't even think they acknowledge that he had the older costume before this costume. I've loved Superman since day one. He's the most, he's the boy scout of every single, super, every single superhero has their dark moments. Superman, until now, until the relaunch, before the relaunch, never had one. He was the classic boy scout. He could do no wrong. He didn't, he never believed in killing. Always felt, he, he always found the good in people. Even in Lex Luthor. Lex freaking Luthor, whom I would, if I had Superman's powers, have ripped his head off years ago. He finds good in him.
you know Superman is like the A1 superhero. He may be cliche, he may be cheesy, but he was always my number one superhero, and he always will be. Not this Superman, though. Like I said, the Superman with the capital S. Not the Superman in quotes that we now are being forced to read about. So, guys, that's my top five superheroes and top five supervillains. It's funny how my top five villain is Lex Luthor and my top five superhero is Superman, but... Yeah, that's just the way it is. I, I love to hate Lex, and I love to love Superman. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. If you guys would like to make a reply to your top five supervillains or your top five superheroes, please do. It's enjoyable. I love doing this video. Hell, maybe everybody will do one now. You know, I've seen a few people do one. One person will do one video, and then it literally goes off into other channels, and people do their own. This, this was my top five superheroes and villains. What's yours? See you guys tomorrow for another video. Check out yesterday's video also, and I'll see you guys soon. See you tomorrow.